Hello there, my beautiful Taurus, and welcome to your August Love Tarot Reading with me, Miss Machiste. Taurus, we are looking into your love life and what will be coming your way next in terms of love for the first half of August. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning Taurus, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Taurus out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So, let's get started and let's get into it for my beautiful Taurus. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you for the first half of August. Also, Taurus, bear with me as I read for single, separated, and in partnership. Take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. So here we go, spirit for my beautiful Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the first half of August in their love lives. What's going on for Taurus and what's coming their way next? All right, here we go, Taurus. First card out is we have Seek. This is the Hermit Virgo energy. We also have Love. This is the Lovers Gemini energy. We have Master, this is the Devil, Capricorn, Energy. We also have Manifest, this is the Magician, more Gemini Energy, also Virgo. Ooh, another Major, oh my goodness, the Tower coming in as Rebuild, Scorpio Energy. And we have, ooh, the Seven of Pentacles. Awaiting results, Earth energy. Okay, so you have all major arcanas, except for the Seven of Pentacles down here. So Taurus, you look very, very, very to yourself. You look very focused on your healing, your growth, um, just all things about you. Um, for some of you, Taurus, this could be backwards. You could be dealing with somebody who is very focused on themselves right now. But I'm going to read it towards you, Taurus, of what I'm feeling. This is your reading. But keep in mind, Taurus and Taurus cross watchers, this could resonate backwards for some of you. Okay, so nonetheless here, Taurus, there is a sense of being focused on yourself, but also waiting for love or waiting for something. So either you're so focused on yourself and your person is in, is in a waiting process for when you will give them more, reconcile with them, show them love. I don't know. Somebody looks like they're waiting for something. Somebody's waiting for the other person to not be so self-secluded. So whether this is you or whether this is them, somebody is very self focused right now and it's making the other person dive into some fears and doubts and possible not the greatest mindset because they either feel like the self secluded person doesn't want them or they feel like the self secluded person is possibly being deceptive or doing things they shouldn't be doing. Nonetheless, there is an energy here of somebody waiting for the other person to come out of self-seclusion. So, for others of you, Taurus, if you're single, um, you may have been waiting for the right time to go out and experience love or find love or whatever the case may be. But with the lovers here and the tower, it looks like you're coming into a soulmate connection unexpectedly. Or for some of you, Taurus, if you're the one who's waiting for the self-focused person, um, I do feel like they're going to want a um, to reunite with you. But it's, so, it's unexpected because I feel because of how self 
focus they have been. So now that they are coming out to reconcile with you or to speak more with you or to give more to you, it's a little bit of a shock, but it's also something you've been waiting for or they've been waiting for, whoever's been in the waiting process. So let's clarify this here. Single Taurus, um, I don't know if you've just been waiting around for someone or waiting around for the right time to find love. But Spirit is saying that you have all the tools needed with the Magician coming in. You just have to use those tools. You just have to put your skills and your talents and just yourself into initiating to find it. So let's clarify this here for you, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I do want to say for some of you, Taurus, this is um, there could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you that may have caused you a lot of toxic energy with the devil. And that may be why you are self-focused because of what this person has put you through. And all right, we'll see what else comes through. The Hermit with the Nine of Wands, double nines there, nine, nine on the... Um, the lovers is the magician now twice. You could really do whatever you please, Taurus. You just need to decide what you want and what you want to do. On the devil, we have the emperor. Yeah, definitely could be dealing with somebody who is very controlling with the emperor to go on the devil. Eh. On the second magician, we have the wheel of fortune. On the tower, we have the Three of Cups. There you go, I'm telling you. They're going to want to reconcile with you. They're going to want to be happy and come together with you. And it's going to be unexpected because they've been so self-focused or so self-centered. Or this is vice versa. Here we go. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Yeah, no more waiting because this person is finally giving you this sense of coming together or this sense of happiness. It does come unexpected to you. So I do feel like for some of you, Taurus, you may have been trying to manifest somebody um, to be less stubborn towards you. And um, I do see they're going to come around for some sort of coming together. But with the emperor, with the devil, I'm not ter sure how much transformation they are making for themselves so it looks like there's a reconciliation here so if you're in a relationship with this person and you two are kind of like totally out of each other's energy and um energetically emotionally mentally but you're still physically with one another it does look like you're going to be pleasantly surprised with this person um opening up with opening up to you or Maybe they take you out on a date with the Three of Cups. Maybe they buy you something. or You're just surprised that this stubborn person is opening up to you. Even if they're only opening up a little bit, for a lot of you, this person doesn't even open up at all. Um, and for others of you, you definitely could be waiting for some sort of reuniting with someone, some sort of reconciliation. It looks like it's coming, and it looks like you're not waiting for it any longer. So with the Magician here twice, for some of you, definitely could have been manifesting this person in. And for Single Taurus, you definitely could be meeting somebody out or somebody out with friends or whatever the case may be. And with the Magician here twice, Spirit is saying all you have to do is just go and do it. I'll set it up for you. I'll have it set up for you because this is in your destiny to go out there and find it. But I need you to initiate to go and do it. A lot of you, Taurus, may have been a little bit stubborn with going out and finding love, but you're deciding to say, you know what, I'm not going to think about it any longer. I'm going to start doing it. And others of you, Taurus, it looks like you're pleasantly or somewhat surprised. I don't know. It could be pleasant. It could, I mean, the three cups would be pleasant. So either somebody from your past is returning back in or your person is just being more in your energy after being very self-centered. So let's clarify this. Clarifying the bottom row here. On the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Fool. Yep, a new beginning available for you for this connection or meeting somebody new, having new energy. Three of Cups, King of Cups. Oh yeah, you're definitely surprised with this. And the Four of Swords here with the Tower, yeah. Double Tower energy. Someone also just got Double Tower. 
and their reading, Libra. So if you have any Libra in your chart or dealing with a Libra, definitely check out their reading. But you are going to be very surprised on who you meet when you get yourself out there, Taurus singles. Or you're going to be very surprised at this person's shift. Um, there's going to be a new start for the two of you. They're coming back around. I definitely do feel like they're trying to be more emotionally mature and less stubborn and controlling or just hard to deal with. And for a lot of you, this has been a long time coming for this reconciliation or for your person to just be more talkative, loving, or just happy with you. So we have Aries energy. We have a lot of majors here. So this is pretty large energy here. But nonetheless, Taurus, you're in a pretty good position to do, say, and be whoever or whatever you want. But I feel like the shock of this may make you have to, whoa, let me think about this because I wasn't expecting this to happen. But I feel like you're going to feel happy about it. Um, yeah, actually strong Aries energy with the Emperor as well. We have water, strong Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, and Capricorn. But nonetheless here, Taurus, there is a surprise reunite or reunion. Sorry, I don't know why I say it like that. Um, a surprise reunion, surprise reconciliation, or you're just meeting a new soulmate connection and you would have never thought that it was that easy to meet someone or you would just never thought that you were even going to meet anybody. So that's what I have here for you, Taurus. Let's get your oracle out. And then we will look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you. So spirit for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for the first half of August for Taurus. For my beautiful Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, let's see here, Taurus. First card out is you have settling. Yeah, a lot of you are in a settling position, especially if you're the person who is dealing with the self-centered person. We have union. And we have unawakened. Yeah, wow. Some of you, you know you're in a relationship that is not good for you or it's not satisfying to you. You know that you want more from this person, but... Um, there is a sense of not doing anything about it. It's like you're just letting it roll. Like you're just letting it happen. Or this, or, or Taurus Cross Watcher, you're just letting it happen. Let's clarify this. We have settling with understanding, all right? You're going to come to that understanding, which is beautiful. Union with stuck. Yeah, obviously the connection is stuck. Or some of you single Taurus, you're settling for just not finding love. And there's a relationship waiting for you to unstick yourself and become awakened. Separation. Yeah. So like I said, Taurus, it's like you're with somebody, but you're not with them. This connection has been stuck. I do feel like there is going to be some movement here. There is an understanding as well. But I do feel like for some of you, Taurus, you may fear separation or fear abandonment, hence why you don't go look for love. But let's clarify this. We have understanding with release. Beautiful. We have stuck with surrender and separation with muse. Yep, there's that. There's that spark. There's that surprise. And there's that talk. So... There's definitely going to be some sort of coming together or talking with this person or something's happening with this person that you are just like very stuck with. Very, 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 very stuck. For others of you, very stuck on finding love. You're fingering it out. You're releasing this energy of settling and you're surrendering and you're just saying, all right, let me go find it. Let me go put myself out there. So let's see Taurus all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each zodiac sign's feelings for Taurus for the first half of August. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have Aries feelings for you as the sun. So Aries finds a lot of happiness in this connection. Um, for some of you, Aries feels like they have clarity over what they want here. And they feel like they know how you feel as well. So either an energy of extreme happiness or having clarity about where you stand with each other. 
Taurus feelings for you, Taurus, are the Six of Swords. So you could be dealing with a Taurus who is trying to move on from you, or you could be dealing with a Taurus and you two live at a distance from one another. You could also be dealing with a Taurus where you two are trying to move away from conflict. Next we have is Gemini's feelings for you as the Six of Pentacles. So Gemini does want to have an equal give and take with you. They do want to reciprocate you. Um, you could be receiving some sort of generous gift from a Gemini as well. For some of you, you may work with Gemini, but they do have an interest in you. Next we have is Cancer's feelings for you as the King of Swords. So Cancer is very turned off here emotionally. For Cancer to sit in the King of Swords, there I doubt you are in connection with Cancer. I, I highly doubt it. And if you are, you're definitely in that dynamic of a stuck connection here. For Cancer to come in as the King of Swords, oh my god. So for some of you, you may feel cut off by a Cancer or something like that. Um, but they definitely had to get mad to sit in this energy. So they either feel like you did something wrong and they feel the need to detach from you. Or they just feel the need to be cold towards your energy. Leo's feelings for you is the Knight of Cups. So Leo is in a position of trying to pursue you romantically. Leo feels like you are somebody that they can grow with and they can have beautiful emotions with. And Leo is trying to open their heart to pursue you. Definitely could be getting closer on an emotional level with Leo. We have Virgo's feelings for you as the Page of Pentacles. So it could be an apology coming from a Virgo or an offer to start over, an offer to start fresh. For some of you, you may be receiving some sort of plan from a Virgo on, how, or on what you two can do, um, going out together, going out on a date, or planning to do something, travel, whatever the case may be. For some of you, it's coming in. Um, could be an apology. Libra's feelings for you are the Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing with a little bit of a player like Libra. They're very in and out, in and out, but they are coming back into your energy. So you could have a return from a Libra. For others of you, if you are in connection with a Libra, your Libra just may have a lot going on. They may be very action oriented towards work, family, and friends, but they will make sure they make time for you as well. Scorpio's feelings for you are the lovers. So Scorpio is in a position of wanting reconciliation with you. If you are already in a connection with Scorpio, they may be making a decision to decide to want to get closer to you. They feel like you are a soulmate of theirs and they are absolutely interested in getting um, to either know you better or come back around in your energy better. Or if there was a disconnect between you and Scorpio physically or energetically, they are interested in um, reuniting with you. Next, we have a Sagittarius feelings for you as the magician. So Sagittarius is definitely trying to manifest this connection. Sagittarius feels like the possibilities are endless between the two of you. And I definitely do feel like Sagittarius feels extremely confident in this connection. And they feel very, very, very good about where it could go or where it is going. Capricorn's feelings for you are the Wheel of Fortune. So Capricorn feels as though things are changing in a positive direction or Capricorn wants things to change in a positive direction. Nonetheless here, Capricorn does feel like things are changing for you, but they do feel like things are in the destiny to change. Next we have is Aquarius feelings for you as the Two of Cups. So Aquarius is very interested in coupling up with you. Um, you could be making it official with an Aquarius or just feeling a lot more emotionally free and reciprocated with an Aquarius, but they definitely are interested in being with you, coupling up with you. If you are already coupled up with an Aquarius, they feel really good about it. They definitely feel like you are a soulmate of theirs and they are excited of the future together. And lastly, Pisces feelings for you. Taurus are the three of swords. So there is heartbreak energy here between you and Pisces. You could have hurt a Pisces with a third party situation, or you could have just hurt them somehow, let them down, cause them to be sad. Um, for others of you, possibly a Pisces hurt you, but I do get a sense that this is Pisces energy. Um, for some of you, a Pisces may have hurt you, um, but there is sadness between the two of you. So that's what I have here for you, Taurus. One, two. All right, Taurus. So that's what I have here for you for the first half of August. Um, please do not forget to like this video, and I'll talk to all my beautiful Taurus very soon. Bye now.